In this video, I want to talk about force and work, but in the sense of integration. So in a very simplified definition of work is force times distance. It's not, you know, going to your nine to five job. That's not what we're talking about work here. In the physical sense, work has a quantitative and measurable value. So a really simple example would be, well, if you applied 100 newtons of force to a block, make this block, and you pushed it with 100 newtons of force for, let's just say, I don't know, two meters, well, then the amount of work you would have done is 100 times two or 200. And that's simply it. Work is just force times the distance applied. But it gets a little more complicated if you're not just pushing things in straight lines. So this is kind of where the integrals come in. And here is your formula for how you might solve a work problem in calculus. It says the work is the definite integral from A to B of your force function dx. So the integral from A to B is kind of like the distance, and obviously the force function is your force. So I have a pretty easy problem here. Let's just say that your force function is the line 3x minus 1, and you're going to do that from 1 to Five. So you can imagine yourself pushing a block along this path for one to five. You could think of it like that, or you could just think of this is the amount of force and you got to integrate it over that interval. So we're just going to do that. Really simple, definite integral from one to five, and I'm integrating 3x minus one dx. And now if I take the antiderivative of this, add one to the power, divide by the new power, the antiderivative of minus one is minus x, and I have to evaluate from five to one or one to five. And I just plug in the upper limit, plug in five, minus, plug in the lower limit, plug in one, And now I can evaluate this thing. So let's see, that's three halves. Five squared is 25 minus five minus one squared is one, so that's minus three halves. And I have minus minus one is plus one. And let's see, I've got minus five plus one. Let's see, it's gonna be minus four 25 times 3 is 75 halves minus 3 halves. And then 75 halves minus 3 halves, that's 72 halves minus 4. And 4 is 8 halves. So 72 minus 8, I think that's going to be 64 over two, over 2 is 32. So the amount of work that you've done by using this force function over this interval is 32 amounts of work. So whatever units you're using with. Okay, there's your quick introduction to force and work. You just got to remember that you do the definite integral from A to B of your force function. Thanks for watching.